Kid also happens to be an honor roll student, kind of has it all going on. Class act Paxton Harmon, congratulations to him and the West Hancock Titan family for the great season. Let's do some baseball. Congratulations to Brigham John, opening his career with a victory tonight, number one at Quincy High School. Andrew Eilers, the outstanding pitcher, getting the job done for the Blue Devils tonight. Complete game three hit shutout, 11 strikeouts there. Mixed day of results in Galesburg for Illini West. The Chargers lose to United Township in the early game, but bounce back and win nicely over North Boone, 8-1. to one. We've got Beardstown taking on Southeastern today in baseball. Good crowd on hand today in beautiful Beardstown. And in the top of the second, the Tigers already up 1 to nothing. The Suns would load the bases, but Greg Gibson, boy, was he on today. Seven strikeouts on the day, and this was one of them. Bottom of the second, how about Marcus Bowser going to step to the plate, make some things happen for the Tigers right here with a slow roller to third. Matthew Baker would score. It's 2 to nothing at that point in favor of the Stripes. Alex Schultz, so he's going to work some things right here as well. Pulling a double to just inside the left field line. Bowser scores easily on this one. It's three to nothing. Then more to come. How about this? Rick Dower kind of ground a short. Great defensive effort, but he's going to be safe at first. Mr. Schultz is going to score on this one. Mr. Dower, three for three on the day and four RBIs. A Gibson was just great on the day as well. Beardstown wins in a shutout today. 12 to nothing was your final. Meanwhile, just across the baseball diamond, we had softball as well. Beardstown taking on Athens and Triopia in a back-to-back -back game. Start you off, bottom of the fourth, 4 nothing Tigers already. Claire Hardwick going long and deep for the home run. It's a two-run shot. 6 nothing Beardstown at this point. Good stuff from them. The Tigers with tons of timely hits in this one. Elena Leishner with a line single to center. That scores Rachel Deacon under the tag. 7-0 Tigers at that point. More to come in this one. Bottom of the six. Bases loaded for Megan Eisnoggle. She's going to rip a single to left. Two more runs scores. It's 11-3. The Tigers would beat Athens 13-3 in six innings. Triopia also playing against Beardstown. We'll show you some highlights of that one as well. As the Beardstown offense stays hot in this one. Miss Hardwick grounding a single up the middle. That would score Miss Leishner, and it would be a 9 to nothing lead at last check in favor of Beardstown over Triopia. No final called in on that one. We're going to wrap you up tonight with a couple of scores here, all of them of the college variety. First of all, in baseball, Culver Stockton today gets a split against Avila, winning the second game 4-2. to two. Truman State ends up losing a pair today to Pittsburgh State, 4-1. to one. And also in the second game, they end up losing 7-1. to one. The reason we point this out, Hannibal native Paul Trenhill went 4 for 6 on the day. He's now hitting 416 on the season. HLG gets a big day out of Clint Hamilton in a pair of losses to Park College today, 11-6 to six and 7-6. to six. Western Illinois, a loser to Illinois, Chicago, 3-2. to two. In softball today, Culver Stockton loses the first one to Peru State, 13-4. to four, And the second one, 11-9. to nine. William Woods today gets knocked off by HLG in the first game, 2 to 1, but in the second game bounces back and wins 5 to 1. Again, we'll wrap you up with these scores. Fort Hayes State today shuts down Truman State. A couple of local pitchers, hard luck losers. Hannah Washburn in the first game, Palmyra's Kendra Hens in the second, and finally tonight, Quincy University with a split against Missouri ST on the road, 7 to 6, and finally 7 to 2. That's all the time we have. Overtime right here tomorrow. We'll see you then, everybody.